What is going on guys, it's Taylor Roberts and welcome to my channel. We are in the middle of a Madonna deep dive where we are exploring Madonna's artistry through her music, music videos, and live performances, which means new Madonna reactions until we reach the end of her discography. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell button so you get notification of when new videos drop here on the channel. Hop on over to Instagram, give me a follow. Guys, we are checking out Madonna's, Madonna's, <laughs> Madonna's, Madonna's Rebel Heart Super Duper Trooper Grouper Deluxe Version. 25 songs on this album. It's a big boy. Mm, that's a big boy. Um, But I'm looking at the track list right now, and I think the only one that I recognize on here that I've heard before in the past is Bitch, I'm Madonna. Bitch, I'm Madonna. Because I just remember that one being everywhere. And then I remember seeing the music video for that one too. Um, and then I remember they made a music video. One of the channels where it's like the music video without music. And they just, put, just do Foley and sound effects. And it was fucking hilarious. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much all I remember. 2015 though, when this album came out. Got a couple features on here. Nicki Minaj is back uh on bitch on madonna and then we got madonna and chance the rapper chance the rapper had a big year this year and mike tyson we got mike tyson on a track that's crazy mike tyson is on a madonna track called iconic that shit better bang if it's mike tyson mike tyson my name i'm mike tyson the greatest greatest the mike tyson um but yeah guys without further ado let's hop right into the album Kicking it off with a nice cup of coffee. First you mm. love me and I let you in. Made me feel like I was born again. You empowered me, you made me strong. Built me up and I could do no wrong. The heaven let me fall down. Now that it's it's over, I'm gonna carry on. Lifted me up and watch me stumble. Hey! Some of those 808s fucking banging. Hands up. Get your hands up. Drop it. Ooh, fuck, that is dirty. Oh my god, man. God, my God, what a way to kick off this album. Living for Love just for me is just completely wiped MD <laughs> MDNA off the map, man. I f Living for Love is a type of EDM influenced song that any track on MDNA wanted to be. Holy shit, that was, that was, that was, that was a heartable song. I got to heart that. My God, man. My God. If this album carries that type of energy all the way through it, this this is gonna be this is this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. I I I, I I'm gonna keep it going. I'm gonna keep it going. I I, I, I wanna say though, I love the spiritual aspect that that song had with the choir and the gospel singing and all that. It's just everything. It was just beautiful. And then the drop was just, oh, it was so dirty. 
And I like it dirty. You know what I mean? I, I like dirty drops. My God, Devil Prey. So we're going from Living for Love, which is a very religious sound, to something called Devil Prey. That's interesting. Let's check it out. Take my sins and wash them away. Teach me how to pray. What a 180. Here in the dark. Take these walls. Oh my god, I fucking I'm loving this. with no way home. Yeah, we can run we can have but we won't find the answers. If you go down then you can help along the way. But if you wanna save your soul, then we should travel all together and make the devil pray. I'm interested. This has a very Avicii vibe to it. Oh. Two fire tracks back to back. Heart that bad boy. Yeah, that one had a very Avicii vibe to it. You know, he had that iconic sound of like mixing like folk and and ED. I'm gonna look it up. Let me look up who produced Devil Prey real quick. I would be shocked, shocked if Avicii had nothing to do with this because that's just an iconic Avicii Avicii sound. This Devil Prey. Producer. Devil Prey is a song recorded by American singer-songwriter Madonna. Duh. It's her album. Written and produced by Madonna. Avicii! Bam! Called that shit. DJ Dahi and Michael Diamond. Blood Pop. With an additional writing of Arash Pornarnarnari. Carl Falk, Remy Yukov, and Seven Kocha. I don't know how to pronounce those names, but yeah. I I knew I it's just the sound, you know, Avicii. Avicii had his fingerprints all over that. Rest in peace, Avicii. Rest in peace. Moving on, guys. Woo. This is a this is a party album, I feel like. This has got to be a party album. But a different type of party album. This is like this is like a let's get high and just do dirty disgusting things and while Confessions is also a party album, that's just more of kind of like, let's just party the night away. This one is just like, let's just get fucked up and, <laughs> and just, who gives a shit? Let's go to jail. Oh. Oh. Maybe it was all too much. Too much for a man to take Everything's bound to break Sooner or later, sooner or later You're all that I can trust Mm. Facing the darkest days Everyone ran away We're gonna stay here, we're gonna stay here Ah, ah, I know you're scared tonight
be two souls in a ghost town where it all comes down. down will be two souls in a ghost town beautiful lyricism here talking about just having each other when shit hits the fan when the world is ending when whatever is crashing down around you have you and the person you love and as long as you're together no matter what happens the nuclear explosion goes off and you're wiped off the face of the earth at least you're wiped off the face of the earth with the person you love and you go down together it's sort of hauntingly beautiful and sweet and chaotic at the same time but great great track great track i love the difference of the just the mellowness we get it, it has a little bit of a hit in that chorus which i like it just grows very very big um but I love the contrast between the first two tracks in Ghost Town. You know, we hyped up this big energy. We hype as, hype as hell. And then we kind of just bring it down a bit. But we still get a little of that big factor in there. <laughs> Unapologetic bitch. Some reggae vibes here. Let me just light one up. Woke up this morning feeling good that you were gone. Have for a while, but I'm finally moving on. I'm an unapologetic bitch, but sometimes you know I gotta call it like it is. You know you never really know how much you love me till you lost me. Did you? You know you never really know how much your selfish bullshit cost me. Well, fuck you, my son, I got a You like it if I sat at home and cried like that But little that ain't drop. gonna happen Here's the reason why When we did it, I'll admit it wasn't satisfied Oh, oh. that flow right there It might sound like I'm an unapologetic bitch But sometimes you know I gotta call it like it is It might sound like I'm an unapologetic bitch But sometimes you know I gotta call it like it is You know you never right here so simple my favorite thing about this track is just the different components that <laughs> we have you know you got that reggae which is very sort of reggae is such a vibey genre and i, I want to put it more on sort of the kind of mellowed out vibe of music you know it, it just has a certain flow it has a certain rhythm where you put reggae on and you're just 
you're just chillaxing, right? It's it creates it, it's non-threatening vibe. It's a safe environment. It's non-threatening. So you have that element there. Then on top of that, you have Madonna's lyrics, which are brutally honest, right? <laughs> you know, I'm an unapolog unapologetic bitch. Um, she's just throwing all her bullshit out there in the lyrics about this relationship, how, you know, he didn't, he didn't realize how much he loved her until he left her and all she's just, you know, she's basically like, you know what, fuck you, right? So then there's that layer of aggressiveness and that brutal honesty, which is a complete, you know, contrast to the mellow vibe of the reggae music. But then you add that little synth, that little pew, 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 pew. And that synth, the sound itself, sonically, is so, I, I want to describe it as needlepoint a bit. That it feels like daggers bah, 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 that are just firing at your soul. Whatever you want to call it. So you, you, got, you got the chill with the brutal honesty and then just the aggressive synth elements that come in there just to kind of hit on what she's saying that it's a really unique song if you think about it it's not jay-z and beyonce it's not nikki or little way it's not oprah and obama the pope and rihanna queen elizabeth or kanye it's not pentagrams or witchcraft it's not china sex cash Black Magic or Gaga, Gucci or Prada, riding on the golden cat. I'll see eyes watching tonight. That's what it is, truth and the light. I'll see eyes watching tonight. Nothing to hide, secrets inside. It's like everybody in this body shining Ooh. like an Illuminati. It's like everybody in this body shining like an Illuminati. You love to hate. This, this is aggressive. I'll see eyes watching tonight. Nothing to hide. Secrets inside. It's like everybody in this body shining like Illuminati. It's like everybody in this body shining like Illuminati. You know uh. that everything they glitter. It's time to feel it in your body and soul Come on, let's go We're gonna dance and turn the talk into something So let the fire burn, this music is bumping We're gonna live forever, love never dies It starts tonight It's like Ooh. It's like it's like everybody in this body shining like Illuminati. It's like everybody in this body shining like Illuminati. That song was aggressive. I like it. I like it. That's I want I I really hope she does this one on the Rebel Heart Tuber cuz I just want to see what she's going to put together for this song. I'm praying that she does it because this is this would just be a huge, huge song live. The, just uh, the environment it would create and just seeing her past shows and what she's capable of, man. I mean, even if you were to use this song as a transition into another song, it'd be big, it'd be brutal, and it would be awesome. I'm going to go ahead and heart that one as well. It's, it's it's just so completely different than anything we've gotten on this album so far. It just stands out by itself. Bitch, I'm Madonna. Let's do it. You're gonna love this. You can't touch this. Can't stop thinking about that. Spoof music video. We 
hit the elevator right up to the rooftop. The bass is pumping, make me want to screw the top off. Yeah, we'll be drinking and nobody's gonna stop us. And we'll be kissing anybody that's around us. I just want to have fun tonight. Oh, shit, to the Rihanna the fashion light. I forgot how hit hard this shit drops. I don't think I've listened to this song since it came out back when it was the single out. My God, I do not remember how hard that hit, but it hits hard. It's brutally hard. It's so hard. It's just so hard. It's hard. It's a hard song. I like it. I like it. That is a club banger. I know if I heard that in the club and I'm liquored up, which I don't go to the club anymore because I just... I just don't have the energy for it anymore and dealing with the people in the club and it's just like getting pushed around and then drinks spilled on me and then the floor's all sticky, you know. I'm just I'm just not about it anymore. But that's besides the point. If I was in the club, my God, I would be throwing it down big time and hard. Bitch, I'm a Donna. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and heart that one. I'm going to go ahead and heart that one, not because it wasn't quite at the quality of like Living for Love and Devil Pray and Illuminati, but it's such a fun song and like the beat goes so hard. It just that it's a song I would put on to party like I don't care anywhere, anywhere I would put that song on the party. All right. Hold tight. Hold tight. Let's scoot this up a bit. Here we go. A million miles later, we walked through the valley of the darkest night. We made it through the fire, scarred and we're bruised, but our hearts will guide us. As long as you're by my side, hold tight, everything's gonna be alright.
Okay. To me, this one is one of the weaker ones that out of the songs that we've listened to so far. But it's not it's not a terrible song. I like that it, it it's it's holding back a bit, but it still feels big. Like it still feels right in the track listing. Um, and and I'm always talking about songs that need to slow it down a little bit, especially when you got a lot of songs that are big and and fast paced because you you kind of want to let your brain kind of slow down, relax a bit before you start jumping back into it, right? I, I always talk about it being sort of like a roller coaster um, track listing wise, and that song does exactly that, which is why I appreciate it because it's it's there to be able to let you catch your breath a little bit, production wise. I like the melody of the the post drop, the little be do 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 do. I like that, and you know, lyrics lyrically, it's not like the greatest uh, song. It's it's an average song compared to the other songs. I guess if I really just want to put everything in a nutshell, I liked it, but but not enough to heart it. But I appreciate it being there for you to be able to catch your breath. I could have just said that in the first place and just saved us like three minutes, huh, guys? <laughs> My God. Just see me writing a paper. Each time they take the photograph I lose the part I can't get back I want to hide This is part where I detach each time they write a hateful word but it hurts I don't mm. want to talk about it right now just hold me while I cry in my eyes and I'm not doing it all not yet but I'm in the dark yeah I can't be a superhero right now even hearts made out of steel A deep, deep song about vulnerability and insecurity. I really like, though, that we didn't go full ballad. As Although we could have gone full ballad on this, you know, um, I like that production-wise we did add a little bit of energy in there with the drums and the percussions, especially during the chorus. Because, yes, you're, she's talking about being vulnerable and insecure, and she can't be strong all the time. You know, she doesn't have a steel heart. She can't be Joan of Arc, right? But at this, so there's there's this melancholy sort of sadness in her voice. And in this message that she's trying to put out, but when we hit the chorus and everything starts to pick up, it's a little bit more fast paced. There's a little bit of energy there, and it almost feels like it's it's sort of a hopeful sound, you know. So it's nice that the lyrics and the in the production are playing with each other. You're getting one emotion, which is sad and and introspective on on her and how she's feeling and how she views certain things in life but at the same time you have this the production in the song which is sort of upbeat and and has a, a hopeful energy that's that's spewing out of it um i really like that we got iconic with mike tyson let's do it I'm the best the world has ever seen 
the best ever. I'm somebody you'll never forget because I work hard and sweat in my tears. Get it. I'm never falling again, and if I did, I'll come back. Hell yeah. Destiny will choose you in the end If you don't make the choice If you don't use your voice Someone else will speak for you instead Who you are Who you are Yeah Woo! Goodness. Tell me I'm no good and I'll be great. I'm adding this to my workout playlist for sure. Alright. Five fly chain wanna catch up. Wanna put you in an F for they like glow. Yellow brick highway. Papa Rati pile up on the high road. They just turn the sun into an idol. They just wanna see how high the sky go. Just to find out how I feel to fall bad. But done is a double mind of my go steady. Blowing up my head, blowing up my head. Put it on your wall. Put me in the school book. Put me in the law. Put me in the desk. Yeah, in the synagogue. Five fly go. Wanna catch up. Wanna catch you when your lights go down. Wanna turn you to a letter with a low bow. Wanna stick you in a jar with a pen. You an icon. Ooh. My goodness gracious, guys. Yeah, that song, that song delivered on its promise. promise. That was an iconic song. I was hoping for something that was going to be aggressively energetic, especially since we have Mike Tyson on the track. Like, come on, man. Mike Tyson, if you think about Mike Tyson, just think about how powerful he is, how fast he is, how just big, big hitter. This is a big, big hitter. Aggressive, but it's motivating at the same time. Like I said, I've definitely got to put this one on my workout playlist. Chance the Rapper came in, did his typical Chance the Rapper thing. I'm going to be honest, guys. I've never been a big fan of Chance the Rapper. He came out. He dropped his album, which blew him up around this time. And he was kind of like one of those rappers where you drop one big album and then you're everywhere. And he now he's kind of sprinkled around every once in a while. But I'm not a big fan of Chance the Rapper. I'm, not, I, 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 it's, I'm just not a big fan of his flow, basically. Cut me down the middle mm. Fucked me up a little You said I was your queen I tried to give you everything And now you want your freedom Everyone's talking And I'm the last to know Now I I like this melody. In the middle of a world not free. Your clever game got the best of me. But you ain't gonna get the rest of me. I'm in Heartbreak City. Mm. A few secrets I was never told. Now everyone's talking and I'm the last to know
I'm liking this one. Yeah, I love I love that in between some of the big big songs we're getting we're getting a little bit ballad, little more little more personal, little more emotional songs, but yet we they don't feel so out of place in the track listing. And so far every song on here feels like it's had its place. It doesn't feel like it's a throwaway or or they just threw it on there to to keep the track list bigger, which is usually what happens with a deluxe album but i mean we're not even at the deluxe part yet we're still on the standard track listing but this has been pretty 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 solid album so far um there hasn't been any song on here where i'm just like god that's just complete it's just a shit song um everything has been pretty pretty tight it's been pretty it's been a pretty tight album so far it's tight Curves, we might need to have the bracelets that sip up the hood and see what's good. I need a tune up back in all my life. You can polish the headlights, you can smooth out the fender, you can start the ignition. We can go on a bender, step to the seat. I'm about to hit. What will you do with all the gas? The shit that gives. Get out of here. We're stepping on the gas. We gotta bounce. We're going fast. Let's let the seats go back. You take the wheel. I'll sit on top. Here you work at a body shop. Here you work at a body shop. Again, a little more of a mellow song, catch your breath a bit. Not quite at the level as some of the other songs on here, but again, it doesn't feel out of place. It feels like it fits fine. And I'm glad Madonna's got a song about a car in here. Um, you know, it's a good reminder. Everybody needs to get their oil checked every once in a while or get your suspension check or your engine. By the way, like if your check engine light comes on, like it's good. Like the fact that Madonna has a song about a car in here is just it's different. It's crazy. And I like it. I like that she's talking specifically um, about the things that she needs done on her car because they're very important things. So I don't think really a lot of artists have ever, you know, made a song talking about specifically what they need done to their car. It's a car. It's a vintage. <laughs> it's a vintage car. <laughs> it's a vintage car, but... <laughs> Hey, you know what? Everybody loves a vintage car every once in a while. <laughs> oh my gosh. That would just be such a funny sketch if like actually I think there is a sketch like that where <laughs> there's like a girl that's like trying to like use like she has a plumber and is trying to do sort of that like cliche, 
you know, oh, maybe you could feel, like, fix my, clean my pipes or something like that. But the plumber is actually just, like, completely, like, what are you talking about? I can't do that. Like, very, like, aloof about what's trying to go on. I figure you could do the same thing with this at, like, <laughs> some girls at, like, the body shop or, like, a, a mechanic store. And she's, like, talking like this. But the auto mechanic is very, like, everything is, like, going over his head. And he's, like, yeah, yeah, no, totally I could do that. <laughs> I can give you everything that you want. Bitch, get off my pole. Bitch, get off my pole. You can't buy this at no luxury store. Bitch, get off my pole. Bitch, get off my pole. Bitch, get off my pole. There's a place you gotta go before I let you take it all. It's like a drug, it should be illegal. Okay. 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 Apparently <laughs> Okay. Good old Jesus. Kanye, bro. Kanye, bro. <laughs> I think that's probably... Let me think for a second. I think that's... that's might be one of the most upfront graphic songs regarding certain things that Madonna has put out. I'm trying to think back to any other songs. Uh, there definitely have been some. I'm not saying there hasn't, but this one is very much like, hey, in your face, if it goes over the top of your head, well, then you're probably not very bright or just very, very innocent. One of the two.
I love how we go from an aggressive feel to a more kind of like heavenly vibe and then back into aggressiveness again. Yeah, that's the the duality in the production and in the beat itself. I really, really liked. Again, we have that sort of aggressive feel. And then as we go into the chorus, it's a little more uplifting, heavenly feeling. And then we go back into an aggressiveness again. So it's just sort of this, again, it's a roller coaster inside itself, right? But I've noticed a duality in sort of those elements, like I've said, play out in some of these other songs where we have a, ju a juxtaposition of a vibe that the the melody and the song is giving off the production of the song is giving off and then the lyrics are giving off a different vibe or a, 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 a different element and and it's just all layered um and a lot of the songs like that on this album have been like that and i i appreciate that they're like that because it it, it gives it a it's not surface level type track you know, it's it it does have some depth to it. And it's easy to get carried away on a surface level track, especially when you're you're diving into an, an EDM. Oh my gosh, my lights. My lights. I need new lights. I gotta invest in some new lights. <laughs> it's easy to be surface level when you're getting into that sort of EDM realm. Um, but the fact that we're 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 getting some songs here with a lot of layers into it. And a lot of different elements mismatching and matching with each other to tell a story is is is, is very I'm very appreciative of that. In a world that's changing, I'm a stranger in a strange land. There's a contradiction And I'm stuck here in between And I try to pretend that Nothing is what it seems Torn between the impulse to stay Or running away from all this madness Who
beautiful song. Harding that one for sure. I believe that is the last track on the standard edition of Rebel Heart. The next few songs are on the deluxe version, but I want to talk about just the standard track listings real quick. I think as far as a standard track listing for Rebel Heart, it's a pretty solid album. Um, it's definitely what MDNA wanted to be. <laughs> uh, there weren't any songs where I was just you know completely bored listening to them. They all seemed to have their place. The track list flowed very very well you got your hyped party let's get fucked up songs you got your i'm sad songs but then you got some songs that are a mix of both very very well put together track list here and the hype of living for love in the very beginning and ending with wash all over me i love the contrast between the two it, it's it's almost a I want to say it's a, a, a nice resolution to the character of the story going from partying to to this introspection to I'm the shit to I'm really not the shit and then into, you know, this resolution of calming sensibility and peace. Um, but let's check out these deluxe tracks. Best Night. Vinny Vidi Vici with Nas, okay. Sex Messiah and Rebel Heart. It's it's weird that Rebel Heart is not on the standard track listing. I wonder why. I wonder why they did that. Um, but let's get into it. We we got these last couple songs, and of course we got these last four here that are part of the super, the super duper deluxe version of it. It's like a whole another little album in itself. <laughs> let's do it. You can call me M tonight You can be my man tonight It's gonna be like them, that's right Give me a love that you'll never forget The city is a place them tonight We gonna be like gangsters tonight The best night of your life Oh. Surrender to the pleasure, wanting. When we breathe in together, waiting. It's either now or never for you. This feeling will take over. No sex tapes, no camera, wanting. Just you and me together, waiting. Repeat it like a mantra for you. Put that on your sexy slow jam playlist. Best Night, produced by Diplo. Uh, pretty decent song. Again, it, it's it, the song is just a vibe, right? I like that it's on the deluxe, though, because it doesn't feel... Oh, I guess it could fit on standard, too, but I feel it's just slightly different enough to where it would stand out on its own but being a deluxe, it 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 definitely helps it. I feel like Best Night would have been drowned out by the other songs on the standard list. But it being a deluxe song on itself. Good choice. Good choice there. It was a good choice. Madonna. Life is so crazy. 
You've been through a lot. I tell you stories sometimes, you know. Uh, Same like yesterday I was uh, a baby on the street I took uh, a holiday uh, I was stepping to the beat I had to pay my rent On the Lower East Side I threw my tag around Let b-boys take me for a ride I started writing songs I kinda got into the group They tried to criticize And QBs where I started flowing But I was scared the cops gonna kick my apartment dough in. Uh, Had a baby girl by a crazy girl Then I got married happily of course Then that ended in a bad divorce I know how to pick them, don't I? Never gave a fuck about public pressure Or the ridicule or too big to lose Now who's a fool? And I've never been happier, no lie Woo. I'm just your humble servant, I'm Nas If y'all burn down Ferguson, I'm a ride My life cannot be compared to anybody Any trappers, any rapper, any politician, beautician, a musician Anybody saw many bodies, many coffins, heads or tails, penny tosses Either dead or jail, not many options on the block I came from And I turned to a rap messiah, spit rap and fire And I'm going right back to the block I came from Damn, Nas killed that shit Nas in the back. Nas in the back. <laughs> I love that self-reflection on her career and the come up. It's 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 a motivational track itself, and then hearing like Madonna story. And I love the play on words for her earlier tracks as well that she threw in there. It was a very well written song. Nas came in on his verses and just killed it. Killed it. Diplo, again, with the production, the brass in there just gives it that kind of big, just powerful feel. It's a good song. It's a good, it's a good bonus track. These bonus tracks are really, really well done. They don't sound like throwaways at all, which I'm impressed because a lot of songs people throw on for bonus tracks, they just they sound like songs that they weren't happy with, but they just put it out there because the fans wanted more songs these these are these sound like songs that they really had a hard time figuring out if they wanted to put on the standard track list or not sex sex next up produced by kanye west and mike dean okay mike dean in the house by the way i saw mike dean when i went to the weekend concert mike dean was opening up for the weekend had a hell of a set, lots of sense, lots of fun, lots of bangers. Let's see how this sounds. Hot. Sex. Sex. Hot. Tell me what. Hot. Sex. Sex. Hot. Tell me what. Hitting oh hard on those 808s. God, you're so hot. Pull Thank you. My hair, let me get on top. Oh my God. Yeah, so okay. Wet, back and forth till we break the bed. When you read my mind, get down and discover me. I'm an open door, let you come inside of me. Wanna put my hair. God damn, Madonna. What the f around your neck gonna take you to a place that you will not forget sex i bet you got a bad attitude i like 
Okay. You really just say You're golden so Sex. Sex. Jeez. Us. I'm gonna heart that. <laughs> I'm gonna heart that just because that is the raunchiest fucking song in this whole entire. And I thought, I thought, holy water was like no siree bob this one takes the cake for sure i'm just i'm just surprised you mentioned golden showers in this fucking thing that's just iconic right there just you gotta heart that because of that you know what i mean <laughs> and i just want to say with the first verse i felt like she came in hard see what i did there came in hard with the first verse uh very 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 just like holy shit first verse and then it kind of mellowed out the bit i i wish she kind of kept it like kept it going like my god like oh geez like you know what i mean the shock factor which she did a little bit but that first verse was super shocking i am the promise that you cannot keep reap what you sow Find what you seek I am the sorceress down in the deep For the signs, he is the one I'll light a candle here in the dark Making my way to your heart I'll cast a spell that you can't undo Till you wake up and you find that you love me too Beautiful. To the end of my days, saying I wasn't amazed. I'll light a candle here in the dark, making my way to your heart. I'll cast a spell that you can't undo, till you wake up and you find. I'll light a candle here in the dark. It's heartbreaking a little bit. Loving the strings though. I just love strings in general. Yeah, I don't think I don't think this one would have fit fit well in the standard track listing, but I do love that these deluxe songs they mesh very well together. If you were to look at Best Night to Messiah so far, these could be like their own consistent little EP. I like that. Rebel Heart track listing. Let's go. Title track, not track listing. We're on the track listing. Come on, baby. get your shit together, bro. I live my life oh. like a masochist. Hearing my father say, told you so, told you so. But it wasn't me. I said, oh, no.
seen I'll go my past and I've shed my skin Letting it go and I'll start again, start again Never look back, it's a waste of time I said, oh yeah Would you be surprised if I said I wasn't a fan of that one? Because I wasn't. <laughs> First off, it caught me off guard. Just the sound is just completely out there. I get it. It's, it's a Vici track. So, it, again, I know it has some Avicii elements into it. But I, I don't know. That one just didn't hit me as well as all the other ones have. And this one's still f- f- with Best Night. And I mm, got you. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't feeling that one too much. Wasn't wasn't feeling that one too much. But as far as as far as the Lux songs go, there's that was those were pretty solid, like four songs for deluxe and now let's get into the super deluxe beautiful scars i don't even know if that's how it goes but Again, we got that that disco bass line. Okay. I'm about it. Don't judge me. Just gotta let me be. I like the disco vibe of Beautiful Scars. I'm going to treat these as separate songs. I think it's a decent song. It definitely feels like more of a throwaway from the Confessions era, though, than it does in a Rebel Heart era. Um, it, it's just the the melody and the bass line. Again, that disco kind of sound. I see it being more over, maybe as like a Confessions bonus track more than a Rebel Heart bonus track, if that makes sense. Decent song, love the vibe, um, but yeah, feels like it it fits a little weird in the track listing of all the other songs. But hey, you know, it's all right, it's okay. I'm I'm not I haven't totally hated these. 
Even Rebel Heart, I didn't even totally hate. I just feel like it's probably like the weakest bonus track so far. Time is only borrowed. Damn. Doesn't matter what you're praying for. Death or life, your truth or mind. It doesn't matter underneath it all. Cause we're only here to love. Like there's no tomorrow. So let's live each moment like our time. Digging the outro of this. Damn. Yeah, I, another one I feel like it's... You can tell it's it's meant to be a, a deluxe song. You know, it's... It's meant to be... It's not strong enough, I feel, to be on the album itself um but it's not terrible enough to where it's just going to be a complete throwaway it's a bonus song i'd like to hear since a lot of these have been a little bit more low key i'd like to hear something more sort of upbeat you know what i mean addicted or graffiti heart one of those could be one of those that i'm looking for let's find out I'm under your spell Pulled me in, took me down with your poisonous touch You brought me to hell Watch me burn with the fever that I love so much You're watching mm. me crawl Okay Get your kicks, take your fist, put it right through the wall the See, I don't know There we go. Woo! That's what I was looking for. Attracted to the dark 
And it was easy to predict you were gonna be the one who broke my heart. Damn, tracked it to the dark. See, I appreciate the self-awareness, though. <laughs> it's a very self-aware song. Gotta be honest with yourself. If your feet on the wall change anything at all, then it would be illegal. If scars could go away, what would your body say? Don't ever hide your Love the beat on this. on the wall changed anything at all then it would be illegal i'm pretty sure graffiti technically is still illegal but i get what you're going for madonna i get what you're going for all right guys rebel heart super duper blooper deluxe version i want to say rebel heart as a standalone album itself like i said i think is a very very solid album it's definitely what mdna wanted to be um but I think it's a it's it's a way better album than MDNA. Very solid. Um, I can't be mad about it. I there's nothing there's nothing to disappointing about Rebel Heart. Um, I think the deluxe tracks I think work very very well as deluxe tracks. Again, I don't think any of them feel like throwaways at all, or that they were thrown on there because we're like, we need to put out a deluxe version. Let's just take some of our crappy songs and put them on there. Like these are very well, they could have fit in the track list, but I'm glad they weren't. I'm glad and they're 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 in their own little package because they feel like they could be just a solid little five song EP. Although Rebel Heart was, I feel, the weakest um of those deluxe track versions they do fit very very well with each other and then the super deluxe tracks these last four um again again i feel like they're so different that they wouldn't have worked on rebel heart but as their own little just here's some little fun tracks i think they work very very well too beautiful scars again i feel like could be more on it could have been like a confessions um type deluxe track or something 
But yeah, very, very solid album. I'm very, very impressed. I was a little scared coming from MDNA into Rebel Heart, not knowing what the sound was going to be. Um, but I, I have to say that I am actually, I'm, I'm surprised that the, the album is, is as good, especially being a super deluxe album as it was. Cause sometimes when I hit it again, super deluxe, I'm just kind of like, uh, deluxe songs are going to be throwaways, but guys, let me know your thoughts about the album down in the comments, what you like, what you dislike about it. Remember we're in the middle of Madonna deep dive where we are exploring Madonna's artistry through her music music videos, and live performances, which means new Madonna reactions until we reach the end of her discography. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell button so you get notification of when new videos drop here on the channel. Hop on over to Instagram. Give me a follow. If you would like to help support the Madonna Deep Dive, you can get you can get uncut access to this album reaction and 70-plus Madonna reactions, including full live performances, down in the link in the description for only 5 dollars so go and check that out if you got the time help support me be able to do these deep dive series and guys that is all i got for you today so until next time take care stay safe and i'll see you then